पश्चिम शरदा शतम जीवेम शरदा शतम बुद्धेम शरदा शतम रोहेम शरदा शतम पूषेम शरदा शतम भवेम शरदा शतम Ayurveda Amrudanam this is the rhyme from Veda which means that Ayurveda is nothing but for longevity and Charaka says Ayurveda has no starting no ending it is anadan and anadi which means the knowledge of Ayurveda has been remaining in the universe all the time to come mm-hmm. in that way the Ayurveda came into literary existence through some hithas like Charaka Susruta and Vagpada some 3000 years back In fact, these two schools of thought led to the writing of two major books on Ayurveda, Charaka Samhita and Sushruta Samhita. Most of the modern illnesses because modern medicine has eliminated many of the infectious diseases, the overall, you know, living conditions have improved, but these diseases what we call as a lifestyle disorders are really going to be the problem of the future. all of a sudden we wake up in the morning and we discover that something is wrong we go to doctor and we notice that after checking blood our blood sugar is high and we are labeled as diabetes but this doesn't happen overnight it is a sequential process modern science or modern medicine we have no clue how it happens in a sequential manner first the imbalance happens say in one dosha okay the then this this dosha will accumulate that's stage 1 after that it sort of gets into a state of agitation that's stage 2 stage 3 is that it spreads into the body stage 4 it goes into a vulnerable area up to this point ayurved can actually reverse everything because stage 5 is the manifestation of disease stage 6 is a manifestation of complications all these diseases are originated because of the body's imbalance ayurveda says how it can correct the body's imbalances by two methods one is the pacification method samana chigilsa second one is the purification method the purificatory method is shodhana chigilsa the famous pancha karma which we do in almost all good authentic ayurvedic hospitals in ayurvedic medicine the practice of pancha karma is a therapeutic way of eliminating toxic elements from the body During the massage with warm handmade herbal oils the body is detoxified through the skin in ayurveda this oil treatment is called snehana the use of swedana will result in the patient breaking out in a sweat a successful panchakarma treatment helps eliminate the accumulated toxins in the body and yoga brings man to the natural state of tranquility which is equilibrium contemporary ayurveda consists of proprietary ayurvedic formulations that are validated by modern science in early 30s there was no medicine that brought down blood pressure there was no antihypertensive medicine the only way to bring down blood pressure was to drain blood so the first antihypertensive product given to the world was given by the founder of himalaya drug company it was made from the root of a plant called rovulfia serpentina subsequently seba extracted the active principle or the chemical that was responsible for bringing down blood pressure and that chemical was called rezepine now ayurveda obviously had because herbal medicine we know has has great value and a lot of the modern medicine comes out of herbal medicine if we take ayurveda the way it has been known or the all the herbal medicines and there are people in government institutions and privately who have actually done the pharmacopoeia on herbal medicine that we apply modern scientific techniques 
to, mod, to herbal medicine and try to make an amalgam between the two. Not only as complementary but as a fusion. That I think that there is room to fuse modern medicine and herbal medicine to achieve two things. One, that your therapies will be equally good or more, or more effective. Two, they will be imminently more human friendly so that you don't have to cut out the body or you don't have to use x-ray and all that. And third, it would be half the price. As we progress through the 21st century, it can truly be said that Ayurvedic medicine has gone global, gaining international interest and respect as an alternative means of caring for physical and mental health. I see why our medical doctors are coming to our training. They're coming because they have lost their Dharma, as you say. You know, they once studied medicine because they wanted to do something for humanity. Then they ended up in a technical medicine. Now they're coming to our trainings in Ayurvedic medicine because they're finding back their, you know, back to their own profession and they're finding back to their own mission in life they want to share. Today, one of the world's most ancient and continuously practiced medical systems is seeking its place in the modern world. What we see today uh, in Western countries and also globally is a trend towards um, integration, towards integrative medicine. And um, for our understanding um, in the universitarian setup, that does not mean, um, you know, a sort of random integration of therapeutic elements, but it means the integration um, of uh, the best possible therapeutic tools for our individual patients out of the mixture of different therapeutic modes. Suppose we have a patient who comes in with rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis of the knee, so joint and bone disorders, and um, asks us for help or for our uh, medical advice. This patient will of course also receive Ayurvedic treatment. I'm a gynecologist and an obstetrician, so I try to find holistic concepts for the treatment in gynecology and um, obstetrics. We deal with uh, pregnant women like with patients, and th this is wrong. But we can help them to um, have a good pregnancy, to have a good time using also these techniques of uh, natural herbs, of um, meditation, of yoga during pregnancies. Also, we start to teach the mothers uh, to apply Ayurvedic massage uh, to their newborn babies every day. This moment they start with the massage, the babies are very quiet, very relaxed and this is, a, I think, a very important and uh, pleasant atmosphere. Ayurveda being a holistic form of medicine, it bears close resemblance to European medical traditions. Europeans therefore have found a growing acceptance of this ancient medical system. Ayurveda is the science of 21st century. Ayurveda is actually futuristic medicine. Ayurveda is not a medicine of past at all. In my opinion, everything starts from the mind, in any case, you know. So, uh, we, 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 we cannot ignore it. And I would say 20% of diseases should be treated by modern medicine. And the remaining by Ayurveda and all the 100 other systems that also exist. The allopathy medicine and this ancient medicine combined, combined I think, can be immense benefit to humanity.